Earlier this month, I took a trip in the Wayback Machine to see what Transformer.com looked like in the past and got some interesting results. So interesting, in fact, I thought we would do it again, but this time we are going to be focusing not on the Beast era as we did before, but now it's going to be about the Unicron trilogy and looking back to see what those old websites look like now, or at the very least, the remnants of those websites left over from Wayback Machine. So, uh, once again, as always, if you like what you see, remember to hit like and subscribe, and of course, if you're so inclined, a dollar or two in Patreon helps me out tremendously, and I thank you very much if you do that. Oh, Armada. <laughs> we meet again. Optimus Prime Robot, unlike any Transformer you've seen before. Uh, yeah, self-combusting. Catch Transformers Armada every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Cartoon Network. You remember when Transformers cartoons got good time slots on normal TV? I, 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 I can remember Cybertron dying a death because they put it at, like, 6 in the morning. That was, like, if you ended up in, like, an early a.m. slot where it's, like, your only hope is that some kids are getting ready for school at that time and need something to watch... You're, you're, you're lost. You're lost. This is so weird to see. I wish more of the graphics had been saved because this, like, this, I like. I like all this, like, heavy techno look. So, I can't hit go to see transform figures in action because the, the, the link is broken. I can go to the character bios. I did test this out a little bit just to see if everything was, like, completely borked. But check it out. We can actually go check the old character biographies. We have to, right? We have to. Look! Sideways is an Autobot. Hey, they didn't spoil it. Oh, wait. Yes, they did. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Also, only five. This is really early. Boom, 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 boom. He includes laser beak. I think, yeah, we have to go. We have to do hot shot, don't we? We have to look at hot shots. I'm the hot shot hater. I have to do it. What was his bio back then? Quote, Well, let's go. Such inspiring words to live by. Hotshot is a young heroic fighter who rushes into danger without without regard for his own safety. His his he courageously charges into the middle of the fight to aid his friends in battle. He has taken charge in several battles, showing great leadership potential, but he needs the guidance of his elders before he can hope to lead the Autobots. Will he learn to be a leader who strives for good, or will his reckless nature ruin his promising future? Considering we never returned to the character after Cybertron, you gotta guess how his future went. Strength 6, Intelligence 7, that seems too high. Speed, Endurance, Rank 5 for a potential leader. Courage, Fire Blast 4, this is... Considering he wears a dual barrel blaster on his chest and has a massive bazooka that flies out of his back, four seems low. Four is not quite what I would assume Hot Shot to have. Also, I miss tech specs. Do you remember? You remember? Like, don't you miss tech specs? I mean, they weren't the like greatest. I mean, it's, not, it's not like the they like hard set rules or anything. Let's see what Starscream's like. <sighs> Old artwork. These used to be the stickers. Remember, remember when the, remember when this character art was just like a sticker inside the package because they didn't want to print. They didn't want to print cards. They didn't want to print character cards, so they printed stickers instead. Instead, uh, Starscream uses his speed and maneuverability as a jet to launch aerial attacks on the Autobots. No one can compete with him when it comes to speed and skill in the air. He slices through the sky, chasing the enemy and even endangering any Decepticon that gets in his way. As second in command, he pretends to be loyal to Megatron, but is always looking for opportunity to weaken his leader's rule and take control of the Decepticons. Now, this is a traditional Starscream bio, except we know in the cartoon, things worked a little bit differently. Starscream wasn't really out for leadership of the Decepticons, he just really hated Megatron as a person, which actually led him to be more complex and even tragic as a character, rather than the scheming uh, traitor he usually ends up being. 
Uh, stats there seem pretty fine. Uh, a little low on Fire Blast because this was the era when Starscream was a swordsman. I kind of missed that era. What? What's what is Optimus Prime's? I don't. I know Optimus Prime is going to be close to all tens, but I want to see what his quotes is. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Okay, so they kept his original one, and yep, he's ten down the board. No shock there. Uh, how's Megatron fare? I'm actually curious if. I'm actually curious how the sideways profiles look. Straight tens. My power is your doom. <laughs> Why didn't the toy scream that? Why couldn't I hit a button on the toy and have that be what comes up? Oh, that's... Was... Alright. Alright, so real quick, we're going to see... Uh, what did sideways... Well, I, I want to see if there's a difference between the Autobot and the Decepticon sideways. Apparently not, because it's got the same... He's got the dual faction symbol on there. His rank is six, even though he's a turncoat. That's a that's pretty good. And apparent and in this bio, uh, he is actually goes through personality changes based on what minicon is attached to him. So he is legitimately an Autobot or legitimately a Decepticon, depending on which minicon is in charge at the time, which makes him a little bit different than what we got in the show, doesn't it? Okay. Uh. Well, it was. Collectors. Okay, how are you courting collectors in 2002? Let's see. Uh, oh, collector alert. Transformers Heroes of Cybertron. Oh my god, those old PVCs that nobody bought. <laughs> oh my god, I remember those. I remember those. Those. That was the first time Transformers flirted with Build-A-Figure. Because there, there were waves where... You bought all of them in the wave, and you could build like the city bots, you know. Because the, I think in Japan those were indi released individually, but they like broke them up into parts to incentivize people buying the whole wave. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, instructions? Does the, do the instructions still work? That's the big thing. Choose the character. Oh. Also, I'm gonna say there's a pop up every single time, and I'm not sure what it's trying to do. Uh, yeah, let's do Optimus Prime from the front. See, oh my god, it still works. It still works. You can actually go check his instructions still. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the, the old P, yeah, the old PDF even. These were fantastic. These were fantastic because you just zoom, you zoom in on, zoom in on them and the lines don't get blurry. They just get bigger and clearer. This was great. This was great. Oh, I missed this. This is just like just straight up the, the print file. Then they just made it into a PDF. So good. What's the news? What's the news from 20 years ago? It's all about combination and integration. Oh, funny, we got that late. We got that a few like five years back now. Uh, robots in disguise. It's not really much new. It's just like a press release. Ah, uh, look, back when deluxes were 10 bucks a pop. Oh, don't you miss it. Don't you miss it. See, da, 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 all the legal jargon we don't need to get into. So the Armada site, surprisingly, looks a little bit close to, like, how I would expect it to still look. Uh, it's actually a lot, a lot of elements survived it. Gone, gone, gone. Entertainment Earth and Walmart, the only two who survived. If you looked at this, if you looked at this lineup of pictures and said which two or the ones that are going to survive the next 20 years, you probably would not have left. You probably would have scratched off Entertainment Earth and you wouldn't have think Toys R Us would be gone right now. I know it's still a fine Canadian brand, but hey, we know, we know what it used to be. We know where it is. All right, um, we'll... I need to bump ahead. I need to bump ahead. It was... Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, everything went... Everything on. Didn't quite... Something didn't quite work. Uh, 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 oh, we're in the Unicron battles and a very broken website. Adobe Flash is no longer supported, guys. Uh, I don't know if you knew that or not. Oh, yeah, this is Borked. Transformers Energon product preview. 
back when you could actually go and back when the official site showed you what new stuff was coming out. Oh wow, uh, absolutely nothing works. Absolutely nothing. Oh wait, wait. Tow line and downshift. Those weren't even wave one. Why is there? Why is? Why is this Unicron battle of the update actually has like wave like three Energon toys? That's oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Okay, um, I need to get out of here. Um, here, what's the? Okay, so um, yeah, so it looks like this one's like completely fried. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. Why would? This is the one thing I don't understand about how Wayback Machine archives things. Yeah, it's just not it's not rolling over now. Like the way they archive things, like some sites, like I don't know under I don't understand how an older version of the website is better preserved than a newer version of the website. Which makes it very confusing when you're going through. Also, this one's taking a long time to load. Something here is either very broken or oh we found Energon and oh, oh the, the main image is bro the main image is busted. No. Oh, there's alternators. Oh, and for the first time for the first time we actually have a listing for generation one. Ooh, we got character bios for Energon too. What's big in Energon? The Energon within game. Build your own transformer. Wait, 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 wait. No. I mean, it's not going to work. Oh, yeah. Now we're, uh... Oh, oh see this again? Wait, wait. These are back to Armada characters. How'd I go back? How'd I go back to 2000? How'd I go back to 2003? How'd I go back to this? Black Arachnia. Oh, there's universe in here. Huh. Oh, that's it. They just jumbled it all together. They didn't have independent websites for everything. They just kind of crammed it all into one. That's so weird. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, Look at that. Look at that. They made it so nice and clean and professional looking. Would have never known that it was a total train wreck behind the scenes, would you? That's actually that's actually very classy. It's actually very well laid out. Alright, so uh does does this no nope, the individual sections don't work. Oh well. Sorry, smoke screen. I wanted to I wanted to take a look at you. What did the first G1 website look like? Very fuzzy Optimus Prime. That's what it looks like. That's all we got. Uh, see, I'm trying to jump forward a little bit, see if there's any other version of it. Oh, there's apparently there's a Megatron image too. I'm trying to find versions of it that might have actually been preserved, but apparently they were not. Yeah, it's just flipping through. That's a shame. The Beast Wars ones actually had enough preserve that you kind of got an idea for what the websites were, but the Unicron Trilogy ones are just busted. And again, I don't know... I don't know the significance. I don't know the difference. Why one site works and why the other ones don't. Can I at least see a product preview? No, I can't. That one's completely broken. Uh, new exclusives. Oh, oh, the 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 Kmart set for Optimus and uh, and Overload, and another one that I can't see because it's too small and blurry. Can we get to Cybertron? Where do we, where do we go? To, where do I go to get to a Cybertron style? No, this. Oh, yep, yep. Adobe Flash is no longer supported, but hey, we actually have Cybertron. This one's actually a little bit better preserved again. We actually got the logo. We see where Optimus should be. Again, we have Alternator, Universe, which actually has a separate section now, Cybertron. Let's 
Let's see what the latest Cybertron toys are. And wow, I'm actually surprised. Oh, buy it links. Do you think they still work? Oh, they go to HasbroToyShop.com. <laughs> so probably not. Oh, look at that. I star scream. Still love, still love your design. Now available on DVD and video. DVD and video. Are, I mean, were there VHSs of Cybertron? I thought that was a little bit too new for a VHS. Oh. They were, have we hit this point where they were ready to actually promote the movie? <laughs> I don't. I didn't remember any promotion during Cybertron. Oh, Botcon ex, Botcon convention exclusives. Oh, this was when Botcon was first coming back. This was the return year. Excitement has been growing for BotCon oh, oh, there, 05, and the convention exclusive set has finally been revealed, figure by figure, to an eager and co collecting community. Finally, all seven of the individual pieces of the BotCon convention exclusives set has been announced, and photos are now available on BotCon.com or TransformersClub.com. Hurry over and check out this amazing set. Yes, we see a Deathsaurus. Yeah, that was the very first BotCon back that had like all the official branding and everything. It had the bo it was the first box set too. Wow. Oh, there's... See, this is the kind of stuff that's just interesting to me. Just, like... And I'm surprised... Again, I'm surprised at, like, how much is preserved here. Product demo, commercial... God, if the commercials still work, that would be a, that would be hilarious. Um... That opens something. That opened a, that opened an MPEG. Wait. The key to a new Transformers world is in your hands. Oh my God! <laughs> they archived the commercial. Also, this kid's got a gigantic cyber key. I want it. Why don't I own that? <laughs> um. I don't want to risk a copyright strike, so I can't really uh, show it to you. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's actually there. <laughs> also, yes, Transformers live action movie is set to open nationwide July 4th, 2007. <laughs> I can't believe the commercial survived. Of all the things on this website to survive... It was that. What about a... Oh, um... Is there... Oh, Vector Prime, answer your question. Is there still that? That's still in here? Toys, Explore Cybertron, Collectors. Unlock codes. Ooh, oh. Oh. I'm going to need a minute. Okay. Um, so, DM8R. This is for downshift. I don't think Wayback would be able to archive these because it's technically a password lock. Yeah. Wouldn't, oh, that would have been so cool. That would have been so cool. That still work. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. I mean, we know all the info from it. It's been preserved elsewhere, but that would have been hilarious if that actually still worked. Collector bios. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, got a hundred things populating at the same time right now. We got Energon characters. Optimus Primal got thrown in there somehow. Doesn't look like way back archived those, though. Man, look at all these. 
Look at, the, look at all the bios that we don't have anymore. G1 theme song? Ultimate checklist. That's what I need. Oh, they actually kept track. Look at this. Look at this. Do you remember that when the actual website, when the when Transformers.com actually had this much information going back to the past? Look at it all. Like, they kept track of all of it. I mean, there's a lot less to keep track of at the time if you really think about it, but still, they put together a whole thing. That's actually cool. And the G1 theme song had an MP3. Oh. Oh, it actually just loaded. I can't I can't play that. I can't play that. I will absolutely lose this video if I play that. Timeline. Tell me of Transformer history. Okay, wow. That actually is like pretty soft. That's, that's actually a lot here. Like the full write-up as written by Hasbro. It doesn't see it it's funny to me because of course it's uh it's painting things like action masters and pretenders in positive lights. And when we know like this is the stuff that like really like drug the 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 the, the toy line down. Do, 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 do all the way to Energon, yeah. I'm amazed that some of this stuff still exists. Like like we can't see the pictures, we can't see the full layout, but like the information survives. I think that that's something that's really cool. I wish the pictures had survived because there's some really old stuff here. God, I love this stuff. I could web surf like this all day, like between nostalgia and just all the lost information that you can pull up. All of this just like. This just scratches so many of the itches that I love. And then there's still so many gaps that uh, my memory has to fill in. All right, I'm going to leave it there. So if you want to go check it out and see if you can get any more of it working, all of it is on the Wayback Machine. Just search Transformers.com. Stuff comes up. And who knows? Um, we might do this again. Because we've got the movie eras to go through. I want to see what the site looked like during animated. And I'm hoping the newer we get, the better preserved they are. So who knows? We might be visiting Transformers.com again. And maybe a little bit more recently. Guys, I am facing the most powerful enemy any YouTuber can face. The algorithm. And I need your help to defeat him. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Every time you do, we attack that algorithm and we drive it back until it can no longer defeat this channel. Thank you very much.